They're all yep. existing licences. These are new applications oh, here. I see. So I There's no doubt Dorigo residents are worried. From Cathedral Rock and Thunderbolts out at Wagwa Binda all the way to the coast, we've got interests in gold, antimony, tungsten and copper. Fears about destruction of World Heritage listed land, valuable farmland and water pollution have led to calls for the plateau to be declared off limits. There's a big need to call the Dorigo Plateau, including the Eastern Dorigo Plateau, off limits to mining because of course that's where all of our drinking water comes from. Among those most concerned is a family impacted by the old Wild Cattle Creek antimony mine near Bealsdown. Lou Molina says various open cut mining and drilling operations from the 1960s have caused major damage to their land. But the latest operation by Anchor Resources proved by far the most destructive, he says, with drilling causing irreparable damage. We've got um, topsoil pushed into gullies, we've got trees in gullies in rainforest areas. Um, they went outside of their act outside of their access agreement into steep areas of our land um, and into the paddocks where they went. Um, it's all compacted now so we have weed problems. He claims large samples of the toxic element were also left dumped by waterways. We're here at the junction of one of the main catchment areas of the Clarence River where the Beals Down River meets with Wild Cattle Creek. Now what's concerning is testing of a small estuary below the old open cut mine which flows into Wild Cattle Creek has shown high levels of toxic minerals. But companies argue it's a result of mineralisation. The community is now campaigning the state government to amend its mining and planning laws. They don't necessarily deal with the scale of mining and they don't necessarily deal with the sort of values that we need to protect here. Claire Delaney, NBN News.